And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Secret of Monkey Island. Let's go read this little note that's on the tree. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting of, on Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate little Chuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. So yeah, here we are on Monkey Island and... Uh, it's yellow. <laughs> we pick up this banana. We're going to have to pick up a lot more bananas. So, yeah. Actually, so, uh, for a change, I am actually playing this uh, immediately after the previous part. So, I haven't stopped to edit uh, the episodes in between. Because I really, really want to do this. And, oh, man, I love the music in this. Try Riverbed. Boy, it sure is hot, he hot here. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, bust out this dam he that's here in a minute. And there's two different ways to do it. Um, oh, nuts. I don't have the... How, where do I get the spyglass? But we need to... Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the slingshot puzzle first. Slingshot. I meant the... Uh, uh, the... the, the, the um, uh, it's it's a uh, well catapult I th guess it's uh, it's printed in letterhead on letterhead sorry to the monkey island cannibals please d stop moving this it is delicately balanced Herman Toothrot so Herman was the guy we saw at the beach at the end of the previous episode so I'm gonna just gently pull this Oy, I, uh, th th uh, that was a poor choice of words <laughs> And I can never remember the exact position, but I'll do that one more time. I think that's wrong. But it's pretty easy to determine what the correct angle is. Okay. It looks like someone put this here on purpose. There's the vultures, by the way, in the... Uh, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Uh, yes, it is a nice view. Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know. <laughs> I've never understood. I guess the idea is that he's gone kind of loony. Uh, and of course, he's, it, it's, he's uh, inspired by Ben Gunn from Treasure Island. That's I think that's not a mystery. Okay, let's push this rock now Wow it looks like I hit the big banana tree on the beach I bet the odds against that are incredible okay sweet sweet okay that went smooth smoothly uh, and here's a little Easter egg I wanted to t do Oh no, you really screwed up this time. Guess you'll have to start over. Hope you save the game. And uh, you can tell, by the way, rubber tree. And you can tell, by the way, that if you look carefully, that that, uh, window, that window that popped up is exactly the kind of window you saw in the Sierra Adventure games whenever your main, your, you somehow managed to kill your main character, which in those games was very, very easy to do. Uh, whoa. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that, since I managed to one-shot that, I want to do this just so we, we it's a full episode. So let's sink our ship because that's a fun thing to do. And also that's the canonical ending then. At least according to Escape from Monkey Island. I'll put it here. Yes. And no, it doesn't auto. auto to, it just autos to look at. I don't think the animation for this is really fun. Oh, I missed it. Oh, woe is me. Okay. Please do exactly what it, what it says the last time you did it. Yes, exactly. Good. I think that's the position you start from, so... The game kind of encourages you to do this the... Uh, do it this way, that you accidentally sink the ship the first time. 
I suppose that puts you ill at ease. This game does a lot of, like, shading. Uh, or ma ma makes you ill at ease about that. Like, maybe you fucked up. Maybe you just edited your game right there. But luckily, there we go. Whoops. Yeah. But luckily, this was the kind of game where they had luckily dispensed with that bullshit. And... Actually, I, mean, I, I think... Did I, did I not pick up that rock? Down there? That was down there? Path down. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. The sun. Oh, sure. Walk to the sun. I'll check out this note while I'm at it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again, uh, curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. So back to the jungle. So here come the vultures. These vultures are very similar to the sharks that were in uh, Curse of Monkey Island. That, I think that was intentional. Look at rope. I don't see anything special about it. And here's Herman again. This is an old friend of mine. The one I sailed here with. So this was the guy who wrote the journal. He has lost weight. Never looked better. Uh, what happened to him? Oh, a nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? Eh? Who are you talking to? Why, the people watching, of course. Um, sure. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort, on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Ooh, boy. Y'all love that he just keeps... Uh, okay, so... Obviously, we need to go to the fort. Uh, but you know what? I, I want to go to the monkey head. I actually do want to show it off a little bit. Oh, man. I love this music. Yeah, the music, by the way, in this game was made by Michael Land. And I think he's one of the greatest and possibly one of the most underrated like composers. Not a lot of people know about him. Uh, there's the monkey head. I love that image. That monkey head's some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow waxy buildup, though. Yes, it's quite impressive. It'd be a great tourist attraction. Anybody could, if anybody could ever find the island. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The vine on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go. Uh, uh that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here to pers on, on, in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my back, the wind, the wind, rain on my head, the wind on my back, the bugs in my plate. Um, well, uh, perhaps I could take you back too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on the ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. What happened to your pants? What pants? Mm. You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head sea. Not like I've ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. 
Excuse me, I've got pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> so, hey, let's look at the nose on this totem pole. Wow. So, yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to have somebody to pull down on that. Uh, oh, hey, hey I, I love this. These are great. Okay. Shish kebab. Shish -ka Joe. Shishka Larry. Gang's all here. Man, I love this music. So yeah, like I said. Also, these beaches have like bottles stranded on them, but I am gonna bother with those. Okay, let's go to the fort now. And uh, we might end this episode when I get the, the oars for the rowboat. Oh yeah, and Escape from Monkey Island, this volcano actually erupts. That's something we plan we're planning on doing. The trail ends here. Uh, let's uh, pick up the... There's the spyglass. And uh, the rope. And then we gotta push this cannon. Hey, nice spyglass. Looks just like... Say, where is my spy glaze? Oh, perfect. I'm going five minutes and somebody comes in here and dubs gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up the nice clean floor. Uh, sorry? Well, that's okay. Next time, be more careful. Uh, excuse me, I've got pressing business. Yeah, I don't want to really talk to Herman anymore. <laughs> Not that I have anything against him. <laughs> uh, but I do need a little bit of that gunpowder. Oh, wow, that looks horrible. They're lined up to, on top of each other. <laughs> There's a nifty lens in, the, in it. Yeah, that always freaks me out, but that's how Americans spell lens. It's so, it seems weird, it seems wrong to me, because I expect there to be an E at the end. I'm finished, by the way, so in case you didn't know. Okay, let's go to the river fork. And let's put that gunpowder to good, some good use. This is the way I usually do it. You can also do it, um... Uh, yeah, I, if you use the cannonball with the rock... I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, I'd say this is a not, this is a piece of flint. So yeah, this is the thing you can make sparks with. Uh, so let's use the lens on the sun. Ah! I don't think they voice acted that. Oh, but in the pe last episode, sorry, I forgot to mention it. So that voodoo recipe. If you if you use the voodoo recipe. Whenever you open up the voodoo recipe in uh, the special edition version... Oh yeah, here's the corpse. He doesn't look good. And he has the rope I need. So if you don't... Uh, no, 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 no. <sighs> rope. Pick up the rope. There we go. So, um... Yeah, so when you, whenever you open up the recipe in that part, it always, Danny Delk's voice starts reading the recipe to you. And I thought that was a really bad choice. Like, it didn't need to be read out loud, in my opinion. Seriously, it seems like that was done for lazy people. Or at least, like, you should be able to, like, make it stop by clicking it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad... In this part, it, it, because it, it really is annoying. You can only and it only gets like the first two items anyway, and then he restarts the next time you open it. So here are those oars, and we can use these on the rowboat. And yes, oh, we haven't even gone to pick up the bananas that I dropped from the tree with the catapult. But I think we need five bananas in all, and then we can use the the monkey that's over here. Uh, we'll, we'll make him fall. We feed him, him the bananas, and then he'll follow us to the 
to the monkey head. And this was a really confusing puzzle too. Like I never really understood the logic behind this, but the, I, but I suppose the logic is that the more bananas uh, you feed to the monkey, uh, the more the further into the island he follows you. So here we go. Uh, there, yes, you have to click the sweet spot where it uh, shifts to the other screen, and then Guybrush will roll like much faster. This is, uh, you use a rowboat on this game, you use a rowboat in Curse of Monkey Island, and you use a rowboat in Tales of Monkey Island in the second chapter, I think. And I think they did it a little bit differently. I, th I think it's like a more direct, like, you see all the locations at the same time kind of dealio. So now we go to the Cannibal Village. And I love the Cannibal Village theme, too. There's a lot of cool themes that I, they didn't really reuse in the later games. All I want are these bananas. The other fruit looks a bit past its prime. It looks big and empty. Okay. And then, when we go back... Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Yes. You got a lot of nerve stealing from notorious Monkey Island cannibals. Your cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately we've been trying to stay away from red meat. For health reasons only, we're still as vicious as ever. Especially the tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Please don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. If you have some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Oh no, uh, I did this wrong. Hmm. Let's try. Ha! Your currency means nothing to the great monkey. Obviously you have nothing for us. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you your uh, guest hut. That should do it. Oh yeah, and there's a thing in this game, uh, if you keep coming back to the village, they keep locking you up, and the way they lock you up is increasingly... Uh, more convoluted. And here's Herman's banana picker. Unfortunately, we can't uh, escape if we pick it up. So we have to go through the this uh, loose lo floor board. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it! But think of our archeries. We're cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. Okay, and I think we have more enough time, so we can go up to the monkey head this time. Uh, still. So, uh, so I'm not gonna you, you show all the uh, different ways you can get locked up. But I'll, once again, in the top right corner, I'll link to the episode of the uh, Let's Play of this game that me and Sendu did with the new graphics, so you can see all the different convoluted setups that they come up with. Actually, I wanna... I'll beat you to here. It's actually short. It's actually a shorter way. There's no reason for me to... Because I'll have to go to the map anyway. So, there's... I'm not really, like, winning any uh, time. Also, you might have noticed that I wasn't trying to imitate the voice of uh, the way the cannibals sounded in the original, or in the uh, special edition mode, because they did get the voice actor for Lemonhead from Curse Monkey Island to reprise his role as both Lemon Head, and then he did the role of the uh, the leader, Cannibal. But I think they screwed it up. They screwed up the voice cast a little bit in there because the Cannibal leader sounds exactly like uh, Lemon Head did in the Curse of Monkey Island. Okay, here we go. And that really that really annoyed me because it, you went through the trouble of getting like the original voice actor for a character for, you know, uh, that character. And then the voice that he did for Lemonhead, it sounds like such a wimpy, stupid voice. I mean, it, I, I, that, that, that just infuriated me.
And here's the last of the bananas. So yeah, this monkey, by the way, this is Jojo Sr. We meet Jojo Jr. in Escape from Monkey Island. Now you can look on the map, you can see a little gray dot following Guybrush's dot. And here we go to the clearing. He's still following us. So he stops following you. If you don't have all the bananas, he stops following you part of the way. Which is, this is something that really, this is another, this is the, this was the second puzzle that really confused me when I was uh, playing this game for the first time. Monkey see, monkey do. And how, okay, let's look at the giant monkey. That, why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. All right, and here's the wimpy little idol, and we'll pick it up. Uh, yeah, and it's, it says made by Lemonhead, so this is our offering for the cannibals. And it looks like a sacred idol of some kind. So this is obviously Savin Max in reference to Steve Purcell, who actually did the box for the uh, this, the original box art for this game as well. And he was uh, generally a great graphic designer at, at LucasArts. Anyway, that's this part. I hope you are enjoying the Let's Play, so see you on the next one. Bye!